All right, Scorpio, let's jump into your reading for today. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, and shared. Ooh. I was getting that somebody could be longing for you, Scorpio, somebody that you're in separation with, but there could be some sort of red flags coming in. You and this person could be wanting to meet up, get together. For some of you, this is a twin flame. So for some of you, you and your twin flame are in separation. It's a connection that no matter the time, no matter the distance, no matter the people in between, even if you're married, you have a tendency to find yourselves wanting and yearning for one another. So here's the thing, Scorpio, your twin flame, I just heard him, I just seen the name Matt. For some of you, Maddie, okay. Um, for some of you, this person's gonna be reaching out to you. This person is longing for you. I feel like they do this every few years is what I just heard, where they want to reach out to you. They want to be around you. They want to see you. I'm seeing someone in a car. So there could be an energy here where you guys get in the car, laugh, maybe go pick up some food. Wanting to be in your energy, but there's red flags. There's red flags here. So this is telling me that you and your twin flame have been separated with this coming up in the breakup reading. Yep, what I say? They're wanting to communicate. It could have been four months, four weeks, or four years since the last time that you met up with this person, seeing this person, spoke to this person. That's going to be for some of you. They're wanting to reach out. They could reach out on social media, telephone. You could run into them. Yep. Okay, let's see what the overall energy is. For some of you, it could be a Leo. What's the overall energy for the Scorpio? And, yep, somebody here is wanting some sense of investment. They could be wanting to invest with you from a selfish standpoint, though. Again, that's the red flags. Them wanting to come in because they miss you. They could be having some sort of regret about maybe not accepting or completely taking an opportunity by the horns. Those are twin flame connections. You know, it's like one minute they're running. They don't want to commit. They just want to have fun because it's a deep connection. No one understands them the way that you do. But they also run from it. But then after they've ran and maybe you've detached and you got with another person or maybe you're married now or maybe you're not. Maybe you're just happy on your own. They then start longing for you. You. They then start missing those days, missing those hours. I'm hearing Justin Bieber. What's your favorite song? Does it make you smile? Do you think of me? So this person could be wondering if you're thinking of them. Wondering if you're dreaming of them. This person could be dreaming of you a lot at this time. Yeah, you could be reminiscing a lot on the past, or they could. Somebody here could be feeling really stuck on this connection. Or somebody here could be changing their perspective on this connection. There could be a very in and out inconsistent energy here, though. This could be someone who is thought very highly of. It could be a playboy or a playgirl, someone who gets a lot of attention, someone who people are really fond of. But again, there's a blockage here. There's always been a blockage. This person always has a tendency to make head over heart decisions when it comes to you in this connection. But they're wanting to come in and invest something with you. You're showing up as a strong Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. They see you as someone who's very grounded, stable. They see you as someone who's a little stubborn, but they like that. Someone who's investment worthy. So how is this person viewing you? They view you as someone who's maybe wounded. Damn, these cards are coming out. Someone, they could view you heavy in your energy. Someone who has made change and transformation. For some of you, they could view you as someone who's not walking away from something. Someone who's not opening yourself up to new emotional experiences. They could view you as someone who's always searching for that fulfilling connection and partner, but you can't seem to find it. That's going to be for some of you. Even if you're in a connection, this person's viewing you as someone who's very wounded. You're guarded. You're feeling defensive in the connection that you're wanting. But maybe you're not at a place where you're wanting to walk away from that marriage or that, that sense of legacy that you two have built together. Because with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, it could be from a place of lack of self-love. But it also could be from a place of, you know what, I'm comfortable. It's fine. Why do I need to move? Why do I need to leave? That's going to be for some of you. Now, for some of you, this person could just see you as someone who's not wanting to open up to new emotional experiences. You don't want marriage, but you're also not willing to walk away from something. I'm telling you, there's going to be an offer coming in. Someone's going to want you to take a leap. They're going to reach out. They're going to flirt after some sense of time. This person thinks very highly of you. 
But there is an energy here where the leap and the risk has everything to do with passion, creativity. This person, hold on, let me find this deck. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I feel like this person's going to come towards you in a strictly sexual energy. Yep, unavailable. This person's in an unavailable energy. They're going to come towards you when you're focusing on yourself. And again, you might feel defeated. You might not be where you want to be financially, or maybe you're in a marriage or a commitment that's been long-term and you're feeling stuck and you don't feel like maybe there's a lot of love or you feel like there's not a lot of emotional experiences to be had in that connection anymore, but you're also not wanting change and transformation. So this person's going to come towards you and apologize in some sense of divine timing. I feel like you have a soft place for this person. Why does this person view you as, yeah... They could regret letting you make some sort of big change in transformation. That's for some of you. They could regret not giving you some sort of apology or some sort of communication. They could have also regretted not being open and loving towards you. Yeah, the emperor. So it's someone who could be a boss, could be someone who's very in charge of their life. Could be someone who's very cold when it comes to emotions and things like that. Telling you how they feel. Telling you how they want. This would be someone who would let you walk away and act like it doesn't matter. But I see you have a, having a lot of worrisome energy. So when this person comes towards you, you're going to worry. You're going to worry. It's going to make you for a second go, oh my God, why? what are you doing? So how is this person feeling for you, Scorpio? Lack of collaboration, wanting to communicate, possibly wanting to travel towards you. They are feeling a little conflicted. I don't feel like you guys are necessarily even on friend terms anymore. They're wanting to drop some sort of burden, yet they're feeling really tempted by you. That's that sexual energy I was picking up on. They're wanting to invest, but they could be coming towards you from a perspective, yeah. I feel like your intuition's telling you that, though. I feel like your intuition's telling you that... When it comes to everything you need in a connection or commitment, they can't give you that. They're tempted by you. They think very highly of you. But they also are at a place in their life where they're not wanting to make changes or to give someone the ability to be in control of their life or their emotions. So if you don't know that I have emotions, if you don't know that I care, if you don't know that I... If I don't tell you that I love you, I won't have to worry about any of that. That's kind of like this person's energy. I feel like you're going to be tempted for a moment, but then I see you possibly putting a wall up for some of you. Yeah, someone here's going to get left out in the cold. Someone's going to be really sad and disappointed. You're going to juggle it, though. I see you being like, I don't know. I do kind of miss you. I do want to see you. Even if you, even if you're in another connection, someone's going to reach out to you, and a part of you is going to want to say, well, yeah, I can just meet you at Walmart when I go pick up groceries. And maybe you're not going to want to tell your significant other. Maybe it's like, yeah, 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 I'll meet you at the gas station. I ain't seen you in a long time. It'd be great to see you for a minute. But what you're not realizing is that it could get you in a very stuck and stagnant energy. So just be careful with that. Be careful of what this person's bringing you. Because you could get in a place where you're going to be confused. I'm telling you, this person is bad about going in and out. This person keeps tabs on you. This person is wanting to come in and put in some sort of work and effort, but your intuition's telling you that it's still stuck and stagnant, that nothing has changed. This person still doesn't want love. They still don't want a sense of commitment. I'm hearing hot dog. Yeah. It's like it's time for this person to come in, though. For you to either accept or reject. But it's funny because you can either leave this person on red or something that they find out can make them sad and disappointed. So I see a lot of you just telling this person, I don't I don't know why you're coming towards me. I want love. I want commitment. I want new emotional experiences. Why would I come towards you if I'm not going to get new emotional experiences? Okay. So Scorpio, why is this person wanting to come towards you? They're wanting some sort of major change and transformation. They're feeling hopeful. Again, they're having a lot of regret. A lot of regret. But they're maybe not necessarily using their intuition. It's, ugh. Yeah, they're going to come in very quickly. They could be in some sort of self-imposed prison when it comes to a new beginning. 
For some of you, this is someone who really likes their freedom and they're not necessarily using their intuition on the fact that you're not going to accept their offer. In their mind, the fact that you wouldn't accept their offer is just something so far-fetched. For a lot of you, this is someone who really likes their freedom and in their, their independence. And even if they're married or in a connection, they're still kind of a free soul. This is going to be someone who's wanting to bring you something. They're going to come in very quickly. In their mind, they're hopeful for change and transformation. Very hopeful. And it could be something that they've been dreaming about is, you know what, I'm going to go towards Scorpio. I, they're going to give me what I want. It could be something that they've been fantasizing about. But I feel like what they're not seeing coming is that they're actually going to get left out in the cold. And that's that's the wheel turning. I feel like you're getting to a point where this person being practical and logical isn't enough. And for some of you, you've gotten to a point where you feel like this person is very selfish and you're really, really tired of them approaching you in a way that's sneaky or manipulative. You're tired of them lying. You're tired of them cheating. You're tired of them showing up in a way that is so self-serving. They're not thinking about anyone but their self. It's kind of like at one point, if you were willing to deal with this person in their worst, qualities you're not anymore but they are going to be approaching you so that's your fair warning fair warning your twin flame is coming in and they still have red flags but i see that you guys could meet up yeah i'm so attracted to you mm -hmm. i feel so happy with you exactly they like the way you make them feel and I do love you, but I don't react when people mention you. Hmm. Not wanting people to know that there's a sense of attachment. I admire you, and I have trouble with intimacy. This is going to be someone who never wants to let you go. But it's also someone who's not going to get close to you. I still have feelings for you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So what do you need to do, Scorpio? What do you need to do? Give Scorpio advice. You're going to have to make a choice, and the choice could be that it's time to end this. It's time to put an end to something that's no longer working for you. You gained all the wisdom that you need here. A lot of you are getting to a point where you have love for this person, but you're so disappointed in the fact that this person isn't honest or going for a new beginning. You just kind of, for some of you, if this person is married or in another commitment or constantly acting immature and in and out and flighty it's like grow up that's kind of your energy when it comes to this person yep giving a message of truth yeah ask yourself is this long-term investment if i have a flat tire can i call this person if i need money to help me eat for that night is this going to be a solid person who's going to answer the phone for me scorpio at the end of the day i don't feel like this person has ever been a solid individual for you i feel like they come in seeking for the things that they want from you they want you to fill up their energy they want you to fill up their battery they want to feel the way you make them feel but without any attachments and without really giving too much and i feel like you've really seen past the illusion and you're starting to put your wall up and that's really what I'm getting. I feel like you're starting to get defensive. You're tired of carrying this burden. I feel like you're tired of caring about this person and feeling like they don't care about you. And I feel like they do care about you, but I feel like they're so stubborn. And I feel like whatever you're going to do or say is going to be a shock to this person. You're going to, it could be a shock that they're going to reach out, but you saying, you know what? I think enough's enough. They're going to be like, wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, it has everything to do with like wish fulfillment, temporary fulfillment. This person could be chasing this constant high of like dopamine and you're taking yourself out of the running. This person was probably going to lie to you about balance and healing something out, but this person isn't necessarily the most honest. I'm just going to be honest with you, Scorpio. You deserve so much more. Yeah, this person wants you. But again, I can't reach out, but this person has limitations, whether it's actual limitations in their environment or limiting beliefs. You know, maybe there's something here where value-wise, you guys are different people, and you're pulling yourself out of a situation that you're tired of being in. You're no longer allowing this person to come into your life anytime in any way that they want, and I think that's amazing. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, let's do some homemades. I, I don't do homemades hardly ever. Scorpio.
emotionally unavailable. Yep, but I want to be more than friends. So, yeah. This person cannot give you what you need, but they don't want just something small. I watch you online. Yeah, we know that. But, yeah, I like getting attention. We called it. All right, my loves, we're going to leave it here. Have a blessed day.